Hello everybody, this is George from Faceit or Flux Media and today I'm going to show you how to capture your favorite CSGO clips to look crisp and smooth. So let's get started. As you can see I opened GeForce Experience since I'm using Shadowplay to record all games. So anyways, I put the mode on manual and uh, record. I record with 1080p and 60fps, 50 megabytes per second. In quality go to custom and make that. Here are some uh, other settings you, you can use like put the overlay on the top. I use F8 to toggle my recording and I save all my files on E. After you set up your shadow play you will need to download the little plugin called HLAE. So I'm gonna give you the link to in the description to download that. After you download that unpack in uh, for example uh, CSGO demos folder like this you see go to the tools developer custom loader and here you will need to uh, browse and find the hook thingy it's in that folder that you unpacked and here just uh, find csgo.exe also enter this few things in the command line Remember, this plugin won't work if you're not logged in into your Steam and try to put yourself offline so people won't send you messages and interrupt your capturing. After you set up everything with the plugin, go click OK and let's go to CSGO. Alright, first things first. Write uh, exec movie. Enter. Now go write down demo UI. Go to load. Demos. Click on the demo. And it will load up your demo. Okay. We're in the demo. Go and pause the demo. Now close the demo UI. Press Y and tab so we can see the whole HUD. Press O to change the sky. You can see the sky has changed now. It's a nice blue vertigo sky. And now we're gonna skip to round nine. That's where the get right has like four kills or something. All right, round nine. Let's speed up the demo and search for get rights frag. We're gonna stop the demo as soon as get right gets the kill. All right, here we go. We pause the demo, close the demo UI, open the console, and as we can see, get right got the last kill. So in the console, uh, his ID attacker is 14. So we will write the following command. And this command means uh, it will block all notification that isn't get right. So, for example, if uh, KGMB, we want all frags from KGMB, his uh, ID attacker is 5. So, if we put uh, 5 instead of 14, the only notification will be from KGMB. So, yeah, this is the command that will block all the death notification. After you do that, you will need to capture your frag two times. One with the normal speed and one more time with the four times slower speed. So we slowed it down four times, pause the demo, close the MAI, press Y so we can hide everything. Type down the following command. This will make your death notification stay longer or not fade at all. We put 1000 because it will stay forever basically on the upper right. And we resume the demo and press F8 since Shadow Play manual recording is F8 and it will record. And now let's skip this boring stuff and go to the editing. So first things first, I'm gonna open Vegas and I'm gonna show you my project properties. You can basically copy everything you see here for the best quality. Alright, <clears throat> now I'm gonna import the two videos we made with Shadowplay. 
All right. Now, as you can see, two clips. One is bigger, one is smaller. Click, right click on the bigger one. Go properties, disable resample, and pull four on playback rate. Now, right click again, go to group. Uh, group, group, group. Remove from, click on the sound and delete. Now go to the end of the first clip, left click and hold it and drag it to the left until the little gray triangle. Now let's synchronize two clips. We need to find where the frag happened. And here we go. But as you can see, we didn't turn off the resample on the clip. So right click, properties, disable resemble and OK. And now we can see it clearly. Now we're gonna find where the frag notification pops up, mark it down and find another clip where the frag happened. Here we go. Press S to split the clip. Delete the little one and drag the clip onto the first one. Now we're gonna make it a little bit bigger, but not too big because it's gonna repeat itself. Short it down the lower one, you know, make it perfect. Now press U, that is the shortcut to split video and audio and delete the video and drag down the upper clip. Now we're gonna group sound and video. Hold control and click on the sound and video and it will be selected. Right click, go to group and create new. Now our clip is meshed up and we can move it left and right and it will they will stay together. Now let's go to the color correction. Since I already have a filter package, I'm gonna add that. And as you can see, I only add color curves and saturation adjust. So I'm gonna include my filter package in the description below, but you can try uh, copying it uh, in your Sony Vegas. You can fool around, play around, and until you get the proper color correction. Every uh, CSGO movie maker has a different one. For example, for different map, for different different action, and so on. But anyways, we're gonna add some music, some non-copyrighted music to the clip, and try to synchronize it. While I'm synchronizing in the background, I'm gonna blur that work and show you how to add specific uh, video effects and do the color correction meanwhile. Alright, after adjusting the music and fading uh, beginning and end, here is how the clip looks. Oh, that looked pretty sexy. Now, for the rendering part, you need to right click on the clip, go to properties and enable smart resample. This is a must. Click OK and your preview is gonna get blurry and stuff. So, select the clip, go to file, render as, and my rendering settings is, uh, I choose main concept AVC 
AAC MP4. For you, it's gonna look like this. So you go to your main concept, AVC, AAC, find um, internet, 1080p, and uh, go customize template, and basically copy all of these settings. I'm using, uh, for encoding mode, I'm using uh, CUDA, so, so the rendering is way faster than the CPU rendering. And yeah, just name your clip and click render. And that's basically it. I really hope you learned something today. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and give it some feedback. This is my first tutorial. So I would like some, you know, sweet feedback on this. I'm really hoping for uh, more content creation on this channel since I'm working for Faceit. All my work is at the Faceit.com YouTube channel, so yeah. All the software and the config and everything will be listed in the description below. So yeah, until next time, create some awesome videos. Goodbye.